Greenies. The first Olympics were staged in 1896 in Athens, Greece. Just over 200 men representing 14 countries took part in 43 events. Tonight, August 16, 2004, we observed 13 men representing two countries competing in one single event. Welcome to the Bad Music Olympics. Thanks. Clear Channel is the sponsor of the Bad Music Olympics. Oh, that's good. Cool. Competing tonight in the single and only one event of Bad Music are three competitors. Oh. Yes, sir. I'm on public property, sir. I already told you once, do you want to walk away or do you want to go with uh, us? You want me to stop talking? I already told you this is private property. I, I won't interrupt you when you're talking, I promise. Do you want to go or not? I appreciate the same courtesy that I'm given. I'm not going to argue okay. with you. I work a special unit. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, my fault. It's up to you. You can either go up there or you can go with us. Anytime there's some kind of activity going on here, you have to get permission from the Greek Okay. So, private property. Right there. I like jars of clay, they're a Christian band. You're Staff Officer Daniels? Yes, I am. I have to inform you, Officer Daniels, that you have bad taste in music. That's your opinion. No, no, it's scientifically shown. Remember, the June issue is Scientific Proof magazine. The jars of clay praise God. There's nothing wrong about praising God. How about Christian music? Finger 11, Nickelback, and Tunnel of Mud have all entered into the Bad Music Olympics. Those are the three artists playing tonight. Well, the audience is the judge. The audience is going so you'll to decide. you just talk to them when they come out? Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I feel like Congo. Are you ready to accept the silver medal, sir? Yeah. <laughs> What's my ladder? Puddle of Mud's music can only be described as embarrassing. That was enough to vault them past finger 11, but not enough to overtake Nickelback. The 2004 Silver Medal Award at the Bad Music Olympics goes to Puddle of Mud. Nah, they get the Sorry, fucking gold see. medal. No, congratulations. Would you like to say something on their behalf, sir? Yeah, Wes is hot. We're set. Mom, we're accepting Mom! an award. Mom, Mom, Mom. Come on. we got an award for some. Let's go. All right, accepting the award for Puddle on behalf of Puddle of Mud. Could you please take the box? Stand on the box, please. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We got a medal. <laughs> Mom, is it okay? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Tell me you have two of them. Four. We need at least one more. Now. You can't present her with a warden and not give her to her. We have four. Let me have the helmet. Hold on, hold on. Let me have the helmet. I'm going to pass it on. Oh, oh even better. Oh. We're not oh. We're not oh. We're not Puddle of Mud's music can only be described as embarrassing. That was enough to launch them past finger 11, but not enough. Take the box? We'll stand on it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll stand on the box. Are you ready to receive the gold medal? Sure. For their willingness to take an active role in creating a sound that perfectly fits the uncreative sound of today's radio. For their ability to never progress, thereby never challenging the audience, and giving the dumbed down masses pseudo art that they can easily grasp and digest. For being exactly what Mega Corporation Clear Channel needs, a cliche homogenized hit sound that will receive acceptance in all markets of the country. To Nickelback, the perfect band for today's corporate dominated climate, goes the gold medal of the 2004 Bad Music Olympics. Congratulations. Right. <laughs> would you like to say anything on their behalf, sir? Uh, you don't just like say it, excellent show band, up, I would recommend Okay, would you like to accept an award on their behalf, sir? You know what, you should just go fucking home, dude. Okay, but we have an award to give. You know what, go fucking find a life, dude. Okay, but we still have an award. <laughs>